Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how I should reference my documents. For this particular one, uh, I want to let you guys know it's really simple, it's super easy, and you already have the tools you need inside your Word program. I'm using Microsoft Word 2016, it's their newest update and has a lot of other bells and whistle features that perhaps you might find useful later on. In this case, we're just using the referencing tab. So firstly, know that you can open up your Microsoft Word, uh, your document, and you've got your basic tabs. Okay, this is a, a brand new document. Uh, there's nothing on the screen. I haven't inserted anything. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up here, and um, notice I've got one called References. So, you know, after I've written my paper, somebody said something about what I wrote. In this case, we are going to go to my reference, which I found some cool information on history.co.uk. Um, first Modern War Series 1. Uh, I read through all this kind of information, and it told me all this stuff, and I was like, wow, this is awful, you know, war's bad, and blah, blah, blah. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Let's go to references here. Clearly, you can see we've got the reference tab. This is in English. If it's in other languages, you might not have all these tabs. What you need to look for is as you click through and scroll through each one of these, look for this particular icon. Okay, it's the insert citation icon. If you've got this icon, that means you are now in the references in the sourcing tab. Before we decide, uh, or before we in input our information about our source, we need to decide what style are we referencing by. In this case, I'm using MLA. But you've got things like APA Chicago, uh, you've got GB7714, I never use that, I have no idea. Um, this is the 7th edition MLA. Be careful, some teachers might say, no, I want you to reference like 6th edition or APA 1st edition, however they want. Um, your employer, your teacher, your professor, whoever asks you, make sure you pay attention to how they want the material sourced and referenced. Okay, let's go to manage sources. So I've gone to manage sources. Um, now I've already taken the liberty to putting the information I need into my sourcing tab. But the great feature about this is if you have to write several papers and you're doing other more than one paper in the same course, you might uh, overlap your materials. You might use the same things. The greatest part is you get a master list. So every piece of information as far as a reference goes um, that you've used will be saved in this version of Microsoft Word um, that if you don't format it. Um, if you format your computer, you'll lose everything unless you save it. In this case, I am just used one reference, obviously, um, and that's in my master list. So even if I open up another document or I start for another course, I still got this master list of material that I've used. The current list is all the things I'm using in this particular document. So if, if I've got several sources, Several sources are going to show up on this one right here called the current list. We're going to do a new one. And you see, see it's all blank. There's no information input, and you have to do all this stuff on your own. The best part, you can type the type of source you want. Mm, we've got books, book section, journal articles, conference proceedings, report websites, an electronic source if you're unsure of the type of source it is, uh, or it's not listed here, but you found it online or what have you. Um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Sound recordings. For this case, it would be a website because I'm getting it from uh, history.co.uk. Since I don't know things like the author, I've had to look for who actually owns this website. Usually you find that at the bottom of websites. And in this case, it's the AETN UK. Uh, in our document, my reference, uh, I put AETN UK. Well, why did I put it here and not up here? Hmm, good question. AETN UK is, is the corporation. They're the people that own the site. I don't actually know any individual that wrote that article or the series of articles that I'm going to use. So in this case, I have to click corporate author and put my information right there. Um, name of the web page I wrote in here, but in case you're lost and you're not saying, well, how come I don't put the www.history.co.uk? 
if you look at the bottom here, it gives you a great example of what you're supposed to input in each one of these fields. Um, I even use this to reference myself when I first figured out that Microsoft Word had a uh, managing, sourcing, managing sources tab in their program. By using this, I figured out that I was going to need to use the name of this page right here, you know, the first modern war, the first modern, modern war series. I, I, for this case, I just put the first modern war. I'll put modern war series part one. Okay. And see the, the year that it was written, uh, the day that was written month, the year accessed. So today I obviously accessed it at the time of this tutorial, um, the month, etc., and the type of medium it is. And this one I wrote, it's an article. After you're finished, uh, you just click OK. And look at that, since I already have it, as you can see, it's now part of my master list. I will always have that to use if I ever need to use it again. And it's currently in the document I'm using. Whenever I cite it in my writing, this is what's going to show up according to MLA format. And when I finish my paper and insert a bibliography, this is what's going to show up at the end. The war was deadly and terrible. They used bad guns. Well, somebody said that in my article, so I want to insert that citation. And look at that. I went up here, right in the reference tab again, clicked insert citation, and look at that. There's my reference right there. Bam. It inserts right there. Okay. After I finish my paper, obviously I need a bibliography to label all the sources I've used. Oh, but I have to type every single one of those out or copy and paste and oh my goodness, this is going to be a lot. Well, not in Microsoft Word. This is going to be great because all you have to do is click this guy right here, bibliography. It's built in. What you do after you finished and entered all of your sources and references, just click insert bibliography and bam, look at that. All the information that I input in that previous window shows up part of my bibliography according to MLA format. How simple is that? That's pretty much it. It's fairly simple. Hopefully it's easy to understand and follow. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. My name is Teacher Peacher. Any other programs you want me to go through, I will be going through some more Microsoft Word stuff, some PowerPoint stuff, some other useful programs. Write a comment, send me a message. Well, all in all, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.